What's up, Sterile Processing Universe? It's Hank Balch here. You're watching another episode of Fighting Dirty on the Beyond Clean YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I am a sterile processing technician at heart. But in 2017, I launched the Beyond Clean podcast and education platform to educate uh, folks like me and you out there in the trenches doing the job of fighting dirty every instrument every time. And we have had a terrific experience uh, growing and learning together, impacting and changing the way that education is delivered in our space. So really appreciate you tuning in to this video and for hopefully right now subscribing to our channel. Hit the little subscribe button on your screen and hit the bell. That way you'll get notified anytime we drop a brand new flaming hot video out there around a sterile processing topic that is near and dear to your heart. All right. Uh, speaking of sterile processing topics, we're going to close out a little introduction series here that we're doing, Sterile Processing 101, uh, talking about the different areas of the department. And today we're going to be talking about kind of that last step in the sterile processing workflow before our instruments get back to the operating room, to surgery. That's where they're going, right? That's what we're cleaning and packaging, sterilizing. That's where we want them to go. But before they get there, they got to make their ways into and back out of the sterile storage area. So uh, sterile storage or storage and, and distribution, as it's sometimes called, that's where our trays go. Once they uh, go through that final sterilization cycle, they come out of the autoclaves or sterilizers and they go into storage. Uh, depending on the size of your facility, some of these sterile storage areas can be quite large with racks and racks and racks and racks and racks of different instruments of every kind, every shape, every procedure. You got heart instruments, you got neuro instruments, you got ortho instruments, you got eye instruments, you name it. We've got instruments and shelves uh, to store those instruments in. So all of these instruments uh, get stored in this area. It's a restricted area. We're controlling the temperature and the humidity. We're controlling the traffic. We're controlling the dust. We want all of these trays to stay as safe as they possibly can. But there's a little misnomer here. It's called sterile storage, but the room itself is not sterile. Um, all of the instruments inside their packages are, and we're trying to keep them that way, but outside of the packages, uh, they're just clean. You know, they're safe to touch. You don't need any PPE necessarily to touch those packages uh, because they're not going to harm you. But you want to be careful around the packages. You want to handle them with care. You don't want to be dropping them or sliding them. Many times that's how packages get holes and rips and tears in them. Um, so you want to handle them appropriately. But the room itself, you know, just to be clear, is not the sterile part of sterile storage. It's what's inside those packages and trays that we're keeping sterile. So everything goes into this storage area. And then every day we get a schedule for the next day um, lineup of surgery. So we know who's coming in at 7 a.m. tomorrow and what kind of surgery they're going to get. And we use that information then uh, to pick the cases or to check off the pick list uh, to prepare. And depending on what surgery it is, it could be one tray that's needed. It could be 12 or 20 or 24 trays that's needed. There's some procedures out there that could have something like 40 or 48 different instruments in trays. If it's a big bilateral knee, so you got two knees. If it's a revision that's going on and you got multiple vendors and instruments, I mean, these cases can get uh, quite large. But we're going down those lists. We're going... Uh, through the schedule, surgery by surgery, and picking all of the items out of this sterile storage area, uh, placing them on some kind of transport cart. And then we're taking those carts to the staging area uh, that they'll be ready for the next day cases. So this stage is very important, obviously, because if you pick the wrong instrument, that means when the nurse and the technician go uh, to prepare that specific surgery in that room, they're not going to have the supplies they need. That's when you get frantic calls from up there and they're like, hey, 
we need this tray. It's not on a cart. You know, can you help us find it? So it's very important to pay attention to detail um, and to make sure, again, that you're handling all these devices with care because they've gone through uh, uh, the whole decontamination phase. They've gone through the cleaning. They've gone through inspection and assembly and packaging and sterilization. The last thing you want to do is go through all of that and then through some careless um, handling and transport, you rip the package. You want to be very careful in that regard to make sure that all your handling is intentional uh, to protect that item and not to damage it. All right, so that's your sterile storage area. The trays go out from sterile storage. They get on their way to the operating room, and then eventually they come back again to the decontamination space that we've made a previous video on to start the cycle all all over again after the surgery okay that's your intro into sterile storage and sterile processing thanks for tuning in for this little introduction series and i want to encourage you like we always do here at beyond clean and until we see you next time keep fighting the thing for the clean freaks we're happy on the scene we got it going on running five years strong we're fighting so dirty yet keeping it clean where do you go when you're a sterile processing pro to have conversations that no one else is having? How do you access expert subject matter? Well, look no further. Got a digital gathering. We're so clean, yeah, like beyond clean for all the clean freaks out there listening. We're having discussions and talking info, getting bigger with over a million podcast downloads. Splish, splash, we're doing a thing for the clean freaks. We're happy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. We're fighting so dirty, yet keeping it clean. Yeah. Splish, splash, we're doing a thing for the clean freaks. We're heavy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. Hey, shout out to sterile processing. Combating myths and misconceptions on a regular basis. We won't leave you guessing. Setting things in motion and answering questions. Come and take a listen if you want to learn a lesson. Decontaminating and sterilizing. So much work goes into it, no one realizes. But we take it serious when we're on the scene. Keeping it beyond clean before every surgery. Split splash, we're doing a thing for the clean breaks. We're heavy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. We're fighting so dirty, yet keeping it clean. Yeah. Split splash, we're doing a thing for the clean freaks. We're heavy on the scene. We got it going on, running five years strong. Hey, shout out to sterile processing. <laughs>